Hello everyone, this is Termuse, and today, picking up where I left off in my Star Control Origins game, Creepy Baby Cyborg Trandles. Um, yeah, this, so... This is... Okay, I'm, I want to keep a safe game before I uh, got the upgrades from the Trandles. Um, not that I particularly expect or plan to... Uh, low sa the save game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going as it is, even though it's a very possibly a mistake. I mean, I don't think, or at least I hope, that the designers of this game didn't program it so that, um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, di didn't make it so that there's an unwinnable state that you reach accidentally just by selecting the wrong option. I mean, who knows, maybe they did. Uh, well, that turns out to be the case that I'll uh, condemn their design choices, but uh, uh, really the, the, the trailers bring to mind in a lot of ways the, the ores from Star Control 2. Um, they're hyped up as this dangerous race, you know, like like the like the Mel Norma tell you that um, you know, when you don't trust the ores, we don't know what they did, but they wiped out the Andersons. Uh, for some reason, <clears throat> um, and the will tell you that, um, well, yeah, we have similarities with the horrors, but their their motives, motivations, and desires are very different. Don't trust them; they're dangerous. Uh, you know, and like, and both Milnomi and Erlu are they're consistently very mysterious in how they uh, present themselves. So, um, you know, that's just their way. But um, you can just you can just have an alliance with the Ors and play through to the end of the game with no consequences, no apparent consequences anyway. <clears throat> um, the, 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 by all appearances, they're like really friendly folks, and uh, they're eager to join you in your quest and so on. Um, like they uh, ally themselves with you just like that, no hesitation, no question. Um, <clears throat> And maybe this will be the same thing, you know? Like, maybe accepting the Trandall's upgrades or whatever um, is going to turn out to be inconsequential. Or maybe it'll lead to a different ending or something. Maybe uh, maybe I'll find out what the consequences are immediately. Maybe I won't find out until the end of the game. Maybe I'll, I'll find out in mid-game or something. Who knows? Or maybe there will be no, no consequences. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out together. Um... <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, Trandall's Encryptor. Uh, okay, um, right. So right now, right now it was my objective. I just, okay, my cargo is empty. Um, okay, how much do I have in the way? Okay, I have 24,000 RU. Uh, I need more RU, because I want to buy the thing. <laughs> Um, the expensive thing, and they also um, need fuel. Um, how, how, I was going to say how this doesn't this doesn't indicate how many um, how many fleet spots are free. Yeah, I mean like the slots are free, but I, I mean space in the, the docking bays. But okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Right, okay. Gas laser. Yeah, I want to try this out. I'm curious what this is about. But for now, for right now, um, I guess since I'm in the system, I'll just land on a few planets, find out what's around here, you know, gather some resources. Magnetic monopoles! <coughs> So there's some exotics here, that's, that's worth a look. And that's everything on this planet. That's cool. Oh, what's this music? It's very trip. Trend is coercer? And they just, they just, they're hailing me? That's 
Hmm. Is this foreboding? What's going on here? Coercer? What does that mean? <clears throat> That's just. Hello again. Are you the same channels we had before? For your purposes, yes. If you speak with one trandle, you yeah. speak with them all. Hive mind. This is like I thought. <clears throat> and yeah, and the fact that like his lips don't move when he's speaking, again, it, it implies the fact that it's the computer talking. He's just, uh, like, his biological body is just a husk, which is being co-opted by the, the machines. Are we allies yet? Soon. The upgrades still need time to improve your ship to an acceptable level for overmind envelopment. While you wait, you should learn more about the threat the scribe pose. Go to the Moon Peast in the Epsilon Lavoran system. See what the scribe did there. It will be enlightening. <laughs> Okay, uh, well that's just a repeat of what was... Okay, dock at many space stations when you do. Again, what... What does he mean by that? That just... Uh, it's troubling. Okay, anyway, ident unidentified structure. Let's see what's down here. <clears throat> Stop doing that. <laughs> what have we here? Got some ruins here, Captain. Looks like a temple. Hmm. Hey, cool. Some precious stones are embedded into this important looking statue. I'm just gonna take those. Oh no, the stones were sacred to a bunch of spear wielding aliens. Wait, I had that backwards. The spears are explaining that they're the aliens, that the creatures throwing them are their non sentient servant beasts. Captain, this planet is weird and it sucks. I'm gonna put most, not all, of these stones back and we'll get out of here. Receive 3,000 RU, okay. Um, is, is this, <laughs> is this reinforcing what the, the trandals are? The spears are sentient and the Creatures are non-sentient servant beasts, yeah. So, uh, yeah, huh, how interesting. Looks like, it sounds like these, uh, machines get around. Like the machines that, that took over the Trandals. Ah, oh, son of a jerk. Okay, like the lack of auto aim is troubling. Like having to figure out how to reorient myself so that I can actually fire at the right angle is just awkward as hell. Not the biggest fan of that. Look, look at that shock was over his head. That went underneath him. You know, it's getting the right angle. It's just sort of have to go around exper experimentally aiming until you figure out. Uh, What's the right angle to fire from? Anyway, let's just grab this magnesium and get the heck out. That's good enough. <laughs> Oops, what am I doing? Uh, it, uh, it's Papalati. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> These are commons, not worth my time. Let's take a look at the uh, these moons over here. Very pretty looking gas giant there. What was that? I did not see what that message was. Somebody pause and let me know in the comments what the message was. <laughs> I have a feeling that's something related to uh, what the Trandall machinery is doing. 
I'm kind of wondering if uh, it might be worth uh, heading back to heading back to Earth to see what they can make of the uh, the quote unquote upgrades. Like maybe they can figure out if if they are like figure out whether they're benign or are actually going to like be taking control of us or something. Of course, the act of taking them back to, uh, to Earth might endanger Earth too, so I don't know, what do I know? But it might at least give me an indication um, uh, if there's something I can do about it, you know, if there's something, um, like maybe this opens up some kind of quest, uh, for, like, for getting rid of the, um, getting, you know, getting rid of the upgrades. Maybe there's some way to do that, and maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to visit the Earth star base to, uh, to find out how to do that. I don't know. I'm just looking around for, see if there are any little stragglers of, uh, precious metal thingies there. Hey look, you can see the, the gas giant planet in the distance there. That's kind of cool. I like that little, that little touch, you know, in fact you can see your ship, you can see the other planets while you're on the surface, it's kind of cool. I want, I want to take a syndicate cruiser, oh man, is this going to be Kisanti again? Target acquired, yeah, I have a message for you. If you survive this encounter, you should speak with my boss at Alpha Tria B. You won't though, so engaging now. The tree of B, okay. So, which ship should I try this time? This Zantar Traveler didn't seem terribly effective. Um, maybe I'll take it in anyway, just, just to get rid of it. Remember, oh yeah, I remember now. So I was gonna say, remind me what this, thing, this ship can do again. What the? Yeah, it's such a long distance away, he has lots of time to get out of the way. You know, it, having such long range is kind of neat, but without homing, whether or not it hits him is totally coincidental. Extra speed. Oops. I'm not sure what the capabilities of this ship are. Like that's, that's about as close as I can get to hitting him there. There's no... <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything for it. I just have to charge into point blank and hit him with my secondary attack. Is he cloaked? Whoops. Okay, so yeah, he has a cloaking device. Fine. Um, pulse can, blast mine, pulsars. <clears throat> you can just take the Vindicator in. What do I want? Um, The Lexite Interceptor is kind of neat. Now that I can build Zenith, maybe I, it's worth taking in. Let's give it a whirl. Why the heck not? Oh, we got you on the run now.
Don't know if I can actually hit him while he's traveling through those things. Don't like that. Uh... Yeah, did some damage to him. Uh, I guess I'll. Interesting, he reacted to my presence as I passed by through the, uh... <sighs> Part of the reason I chose this ship is because of the expanding plasma ball. I figure has to... Has a chance of, of hitting him. Like when he's um Oh come on. Like I've done some damage. Maybe cyber trends. Yeah, still curious to know what was that message that flashed on the screen? Like, like I'm, I'm seriously gonna have to. Uh, yeah, how the tree it be? Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that later or something. Anyway, Alpha tree of B, where was that? Oh, we were there. Okay, that's a mission for another time then. For now, let's finish. Wait, wait, I want to take a look at the. I sure thought I, I was landing on, or not landing on it, but I wanted to take a look at the, the gas giant. Because it looks pretty. And it's worth taking a second to admire that. Oh well. little things, but there was an exotic among them, so, yeah. Ready. Anyway, <laughs> just, wanted to, just wanted to do that. Let's go check out this other moon over here. <coughs> Zinc and water? Uh, pass. Antimatter? Hmm. Antimatter, that's the one that's uh, worth 250 RU each, right? That's worth a look. <clears throat> they just land right on top of it. That, some of it, at least. Is that? Oh. Is that one of those little life forms that's gonna pop out and try to eat me? No. Okay. It says there's one critter somewhere. Here, there's the one critter. <laughs> Mission to seek out new life and new civilizations and then annihilate them. <laughs> oh, 
was that was the joke from uh, Star Control 2 about the the Korra. Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> It's it's so little. It's uh Okay, well, excuse you, I didn't even touch anything. I just tripped. just the act of zoom it was doing its gradual zoom out thing and that on its own was enough to make me cloud with the planet. Anyway. Um where to next? Um like I could move on to the um Really, it's just, oh yes, the Mank Mac, and or the Mallings, or the Measured, <coughs> or I wonder if it's worth traveling back home and uh, <coughs> um, seeing what's what with that. Rapo, okay, Here, here's what I'll do: pick a, a random planet like Delta Corpus, well, a random system, I should say. Uh, travel there just to gather re resources, and then I'll go to uh, Pi 3 Orionis Mechanical World. Yeah. Are there other any other objectives? Yeah, Terran Cruiser. Oh yes, um, I made a comment about that in um, in the uh, the Star Control forum. Someone someone said that. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that they're talking about Terran crews, even though they can't build them, is just, it's another quirk in the game's uh, design. Like, kind of like the, the codex, how it tells you about the, uh, the Taiwan before you meet the Taiwan. Um, <clears throat> like, this game is, uh, apparently has a number of instances of, it, it, it tells you about things before you find out about them, I mean, like, like, it, it, it just it reveals information in weird order, and uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so Adel the Voren and Epsilon the Voren. Those are um, where are those again? Is there, oh, they're down here. Well, in that case, maybe I'll knock down those two objectives. Could do both Ada Lavor because the the, the um, like this has been my objective from the beginning. You know, find out what the Lex sites are interested in, and I think there's a good possibility <clears throat> that's going to. Uh, Turn to be this like significant to the story, to the overall overarching story. Or so I imagine. We'll see. Ooh, is that little past just gonna Ooh, could it be? Could it be? It's another precursor star base. Hello. Hey. This facility has recently come online after 205,432 years. The database and storytelling functionality may not be as delightful as normal. Nice. New ship components available at star bases. Ooh. Does, it, does, it, does this one provide any extra? Two sums indicate large portions of my internal memory have been corrupted. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Galactic topography, temporal topography, and fun facts. Okay. So yeah, so it's... It seems that each time I meet one of these star bases, it provides potentially another piece of the puzzle. So yeah, let's see what you have to say. This station and the stars around it are located in a spur of one of the main galactic arms. This spur diverged from its host arm approximately 6.8 billion years ago, and under normal circumstances would continue to be gravitationally stable for another 4 to 6 billion years. 
And under less than normal circumstances? Under unusual <laughs> circumstances, like the exception concerning our inner spoon moth found, the spoon will be torn apart within the next one to two hundred years. Oh, that's... the next one to two hundred years? Considering we're talking about spans of billions of years, uh, an event happening that significant happening within 100 to 200 years seems like a short time span. Exception concern about inner spur not found. So whatever. I mean, the fact that the, it's easy to even bring this up suggests that the, those unusual circumstances were uh, to some degree expected. <clears throat> Like, maybe the precursor saw something coming that was going to tear the spur apart. Well, anyway, temporal talk, you, you give it to me. In classical physics, time, as one member of space-time, has two directions, forwards and back. 248,389 years ago, exception, name not found, discovered that it also had a third direction, future west. This discovery led to the new field of temporal topography, which of course led to exception, resulting discovery not found. And we can all see where that got us. <laughs> exception resulting discovery. Yeah, is it's very conveniently missing the most key components of uh, the information. Um, yeah, funny, funny that you mentioned this because I actually just today uh, watched the movie Tenet, which is. Um, how do you describe it? It's a really trippy movie, made by the same people who made uh, Inception. About um, it, the the plot centers around um, machines that can send things. Uh, I, sending things back in time is inaccurate. It, it makes time go backward for them, so it, it's full of. Uh, the whole movie is full of scenes going forward and backwards, and just this is just really weird and messed up by uh, causality, where the effects precede the cause. And I, 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 I and some of those things, like I'm sure there are holes in the plot, but it's like maybe they can be explained away. But it's just, it's just, it's just generally a trippy movie, and it's, it's just like. Early on, there's a, a fight scene between the protagonist and uh, this a mysterious soldier who's reversed. So, so, so the, the fight choreography is, is freaking bizarre. Like, so half, like half the moves are going forward and half them are going backwards. Like, and it's like I, 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 it makes also makes me wonder, like, how do you choreograph something like that? It's uh, sorry, as a massive tangent, but. Uh, I, I, like, I, I just, I actually just, like, I honestly, like, just before I started this up, I just finished watching the movie, so it's on my mind. Um, it's a cool movie. Um, tell us a fun fact. If a tree falls in the woods, but no one is around to hear it, doesn't make a sound. Yes, it does. We checked. <laughs> That's funny. Love it. <clears throat> is there anything else? Let's, uh, yeah, you said you're Starbase. Let's do some Starbase things. Let's find out what new options we got. Okay, first of all, we can sell our cargo, I think. Um, yeah, let's fill up with fuel. Yeah, these are uh, whatever. Um, lock the 25 technetium in place. Everything else I can just sell, I think. Yeah, keep a bit of the neutronium. Seven so crystals. Got it. Got some nice clutch. How, like how much neutron or antimatter did I get? Very cool. Very cool. Okay, sell all. Very nice. A very nice collection of are you there? Um, take with me. Yeah. Cause I, this is what I was wondering. I've got like almost 80 slots. So, you know, plenty. So it's all good. <clears throat> and I, when I decide to return home, I can just use the Hypergate. So that's awesome. Okay, do I get new sensors yet? No. I, I'm waiting for the day where I get new sensors. Is that going to be a thing that's going to come up at some point? I don't know. 
is anything new here? Salvage. Powerful magnetic forces are deployed to obtain nearby salvage and strip enemy ships. Okay. Does that mean I, I get extra RU in the middle of combat? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll try that at some point. System scanner. What's this? Mysterious upgrades. Mysterious system upgrades provide to us by the handles. Damage systems increased. Damage inflicted increased. Hyperspace speed. 50% maximum. Wait, what? Okay. Hyperspace speed 50% maximum possible. Hyper and acceleration 50% maximum possible. Um, sorry. Does that mean... Does that mean my speed is decreased by, by 50% or it's increased to half of what's possible? I, I don't have a frame of reference for knowing if 50% max impossible is greater than or less than what my current speed is. Um, uh, anyway. Okay, so, but yeah. In addition to the 20% that I'm already getting from the deflectors, this adds another 20% damage resistance. Um, so that could be cool. Maybe I should be taking my flagship into combat more often. Uh, anyway, um, anything new on the primary weapons side? No, just salvage again. Cuddle drive. No, no upgrade for the cuddle drive? Darn. Uh, let me deflect your cookers. It's standard cargo pod, uh, docking bay. Deflect is all standard. Deflector mark 2. Oh, what have we here? Plus 15% plus fifteen damage resistance instead of plus 10%. That's cool. So the accelerator, this is adaptation. Makes it bigger than hyperspace line. Your entire fleet travels slightly faster. Yeah, I'll say plus 15%. But, okay, but... The one that I already have gives a 20% increase. No, it says, wait, it says fleet-wide battle speed plus 15%. So that, that would be true space, not hyperspace. So, I don't know, I think, I think that's mislabeled. It's contradicting itself, but whatever. Did I get the Mark II toxic protection? This is corrosion protection. Special coating that grants land is improved resistance when operating in highly corrosive and toxic environments. Okay, so yeah, so this is the uh, yeah toxic resistance plus twenty five percent, toxic resistance plus fifty percent. There you go. Can I board that? Okay, yeah. So let's get the plus fifty percent, and then another plus. Uh, oh, you don't no, no, I want to buy a new one. Plus fifty percent. There we go. Hundred percent between those two. So I can get rid of these, and I can replace them with my jump jets. Hooray! And replace this one with another lander crew pod, or should I, or something else maybe? Stun creatures? Uh, it seems to be killing them. Or is it something different? Oh! I can't just keep up hurting or breaking these or something like both. Oh, okay. So this is new. This is this stuns them without killing them. Who was it that said they wanted me to bring back live uh, specimens. Can't remember. But I think I want to try that out. Let's get the stun shot. Replace my uh, can with that. Um, and. Um, oh. Can I not get a second one of these? Can't get an additional lander crew pod? Hmm. 
Okay. Um, can I have both the cannon and the sunshot? What does that mean if I have both? What does it mean if I have both? I don't know. I'm a bit confused by that. Your crew will die on occasion. This is regrettable, but such is life. Here's where you keep spares. <laughs> yeah, deflector mark two. I might want to get some of those. Um, but I think I want to hold out for when I have more. Um, um, more resource units. Okay. Um, So, okay, like, I don't know what it means to have both of these at once. Like, does that mean I, does that mean I stun the critters or not? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, I think I'm going to get a second set of jump jets. For now. Um, let's just see what that's like. Right now I've got 100, yeah, 100% 100 corrosion protection, 100% heat protection, with you know space to spare for group. I would like it a second group on, but it looks like I, I can't get that. Oh well. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Thanks for asking. Exception, super fair and not found. So what's this ship I'm seeing here? Is that is that Taiwan? Who is this? This is Taiwan. What are you doing way the heck out here? Can I recruit one of you guys? I lost my Taiwan ship recently. Friendship Survey Officer. Huh, okay. Not the or <laughs> What brings you out here, Aaron? I've heard a legend of a vault that is hidden on one of the planets in the Livoran Cluster. Oh, yeah. I want to find out if it is true, but it's so scary. What is this? What can you tell us about the Link Star Cluster? Why is that an option? He didn't say anything about the Link Star Cluster. Why is that an option? As, okay, whatever. Let's, what can you tell us about the Livorn Star Cluster? It's dangerous. It's undeclared space. So it's become home to pirates and mm. other salty characters who my people have historically found disagreeable. Hmm. Assume any ships in there will try to destroy you. Is there anything else you want to know? <laughs> What's in the vault you mentioned? <clears throat> it's supposed to be some precursor weapon. 
I've heard that it damages the universe when it's used. So that's why they locked it up. Well, whoever they is. But personally, I'm hoping it's a collection of really cool precursor music. Then everyone will want to come over and listen to it with me. What do you think it will be? It's probably that music thing. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have earplugs. Well, I mean, can we really say hopefully, but we'll see. That's so violent. Is there anything <laughs> else you want to know? Uh, can, I, can I pick up the it's other It's supposed to be some... Uh, whoever... But person... Then every... What do you think it will be? It's probably the music thing. Why hope so, too. Is there anything else you want to know? Yeah, whatever. Let's ask with the blank star cluster. There are a lot of weird things in that star cluster. Like rumors of a horrific space monster that devours <laughs> worlds. No one has even seen it. Except for maybe the people it's devoured. But I guess they're not talking. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to know? Hmm. <clears throat> I, I, it just reminds me of, um... Like the the there's a in Star Control too in the Delta Linkus system there's a, a a horrific creature there. I wonder if that this is a nod to that, or if it's just a coincidence. I don't know. Anyway. Goodbye. If you see any other Taiwan, tell him not to forget I'm out here, <laughs> because I do worry about that. Oh, we're in. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Like, I can't even call that a random encounter because, like, the dialogue and voice acting and stuff. <clears throat> it just it's kind of felt a little random, but there you go. Anyway. Sorry, did I, was it, it, it was, it was Ada Labor and I was hanging for it, right? Yeah. We'll go to Adelaborn first. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Epsilon Lavoran afterward. Lavoran Rex. Yeah, so we're at the same save. Alright, so we're gonna check out those exclamation mark planets to find out what uh, what the overmind testing, overmind testing, overmind online resists detected yeah it's worth a look I guess they're corrosive it's the same level as base metals Oh yeah, I can, and I can test out my little stun gun. So what happens if I stun this guy? Okay, getting the right angle is kind of ridiculous. Not a fan of the lack of auto aim. Did I mention that? Oh, this is a this is a slow rate of fire. Euro? Huh. Who knew these things had names? Now, it was... I do believe it was, uh... Alpha Men say that it was the place that had the uh, uh, they were, they were wanted to trade for for live specimens, right? Yeah. <sighs> 
The reduced fire rate is kind of annoying. I don't suppose I can like weaken them with the, the other can with the high, higher firing rate and then finish them off with a stun gun or something like that, could I? I don't seem to jump that much higher. Expected to be jumping much, much higher than that. I, I think, I guess the second, uh, second set is redundant. There's one left. Is it worth looking for? And the answer is probably not. What do I know? I don't even know how much these things are worth. Even unlock set to stun. Seriously though, what? Oops. What? Um, here I'm ten. I, it says I have ten of them. Okay, it doesn't say how much. The, oh, there you go. Value hundred. Okay, so it's a hundred instead of fifty. Eh. Oh, hello. Bulls on galley. Uh oh. <clears throat> Spend your ship and prepare your crew to spend a lifetime serving in my galley. <laughs> no, hell no. What kind of benefits benefit plan do you offer? Uh, <clears throat> it's actually quite reasonable. We are fully unionized. Workplace accidents outside of occasional combat mutin and combat and mutinies are quite low. We offer flexible time off and have an industry leading retirement plan. Are you interested? <laughs> but no, maybe another time. <laughs> maybe another time. This is actually the only time that works for us. Ah, well then no, it's the because no, we're going to have to shoot. Ah, uh, well then no. Then die. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> Should I try the Shanted Destroyer? He, whatever ship he's got there, it looks like a, it's a pretty big ship. It seems prudent to take something small and maneuver in. Should I try taking the UAS Vindicator in? I'm gonna give it a whirl. I haven't taken it into battle in a while. Whoa. Try out this Catherine laser. Whoa! That's kind of neat. It's got some range to it. That's brutal. That's a brutal weapon. I should take this into combat more often. Like it's. I think it's got some really good range to it as well. Wow. Very cool. Save game. Should I be saving over another slot? Maybe. Eh. Keep at it for the time being, I guess. <clears throat> what do we got? Some radioactive say I guess I'll I guess that's worth a look. There's some critters. Possum? Awesome. <laughs> <sighs> it's 
It's another one of these plants where there's such tiny deposits of the, uh... Yeah, it seems like Basher. It seems to do, um... Does more damage per hit while firing slower. those things gives me a hundred are you then yeah like like these okay the commons give me one each the base metals give me five each but these give me a hundred so that's where the money is unfortunately I don't have means of second them I'm hoping at some point I get upgrade which lets me detect the life forms like track their position on the planet as I'm traveling around. Any more life forms around here? This stuff. 6,600 res resource units worth. Exotics, radioactives, noble gases. There's some nice stuff on this planet. Make two trips of this, because <laughs> um, it's not worth losing all those exotics to a mishap. You know, 
losing 10 RU to, to save myself from hundreds of RU from the, from the all the exotics that I had there and radioactives. It, it's, it's totally worth making an extra trip. It's, it's fine. There we go. Said. What do we got? We got commons, water, who cares? <clears throat> Let's take a look at what we got over here. I didn't even bother looking at the gas giant. Hmm, more magnetic monopoles. Built some mag tubes. Alpha Centauri reference. Going down there for a bit of calcium. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'll take a peek anyway. Particularly because there are these breakable things. Okay, the stun gun can break them open. So I mean, that was my concern about switching weapons. Like I was like, am I going to be no, no longer able to break these open? Because. Because the regular can, the description says it's able to break things open, but the stun gun did not say that. But it can't, so... Well, never mind then. Worried about nothing, <laughs> I guess. some kind of upgrade which lets me scan for these breakable things could be neat too. Although if it takes up, I mean, if it takes up a slot to do that, then eh, maybe it's not worth it. On the other hand, um, again, like, I'm not getting that much use out of the jump jets, so I'm getting some use of it. Like in that last time I got some use of them. Oof. <laughs> My point is, it it might be worth the trade if it helps save time and find these things and get me some extra precious metals or whatever without having to I, I, I'll grab them, I guess. There's there's life forms too, so. Oh, sorry, those aren't life forms. Oh, they captured and attacked. Interesting. So this the stun gun works towards stunning the uh, mechanical entity as well. How about that? I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out to be like less effective against them or what. Ooh, that's close. Ooh. 
the nice thing about these mechanical ones is they actually do show up on the scanner. So I can track them all down. These things were on, um, you know, back in the soul system in the Lexite base, right? Like, are these Lexite creations? Because you kind of find them periodically, like, everywhere. Is this supposed to be a sign that the Lexites pass through here, or are they just random encounters? this uh after the mission I'm gonna to wanna to make a pit stop at Alpha Mense to uh I think it was Alpha Mense. Uh to see if I can sell them there. So you're in hundred are you Oh, so they go. They basically go for different amounts. Badger goes for sixty. Hmm. Skagerians go for four hundred. Ooh, so those guys are gold mine, basically. I mean, more like okay, gold. Gold mine is the wrong term because uh, they're actually worth more than gold mines. Um, they're they're actually worth more than antimatter. So that's. They're actually the most valuable thing I've encountered uh, on the planet. You know, aside from like quest stuff. <clears throat> Those are commons, who cares? Now, both of these planets, well, this planet and its moon, have unidentified structures, which are ruins, it says, instead of unidentified. Uh, Instead of unidentified, usually it says unidentified object, now it says ruins. Let's check it out. And there are a lot more of those things. Sorry, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such strong defenses here. And they're like all over the place. I need to like secure a beachhead here. Okay. That's foggy. Oh no, are those graphical glitches? Some of them are mobile, and some of them are just just turrets. It looks like. If I'm interpreting that right, like these little things of the oh. Captain, this looks like some sort of ancient antenna. <coughs> Drawing close to it seemed to do <coughs> something, but I don't know what. Not much more we can do here. We'll go. Some kind of ancient antenna? And it activated when we came close? Okay, uh, I'm gonna lift off because Lost some crew, and I just want to—I just want to find out how many. Uh, so, how much are these things worth? Galley pro worth hundred. Galley turret worth eighty. Okay. Not as not worth as much as the security drones, but they're still, uh, you know, still worth collecting. <clears throat> this is 
biology abundant, but they're really biological. But whatever. At least they don't appear to be. Hmm. Hold still, Lydia. Are these graphic glitches a result? Uh, are they a result of the graphics card, or is it just the game being screwy? Uh, I need to get, find the right angle, and it's annoying. This, this positioning makes it really annoying. where having rapid fire would be probably more useful. I could just fire a spray of shots. Sorry, don't shoot at me from behind. <coughs> Time and trouble. Is, is that the Tasmanian Devil uh, right next to my landing zone? That seems dangerous. Ooh. 
What's with these names? Like Galamite turret and Galamite probe. What do you mean Galamite? What's that about? Is that a race I haven't met yet or something? What, 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 what did I just click on? Oh, I clicked on the little drag bar there. Okay. Yep. Create it. Alright. Oh, this is peace. This is, this is, uh... Wait. Is this the place that the, uh... This is the place that Trandall's trying to send me? Did I get it mixed up? I thought it was, um... I thought this is where the black sites were interested in. <clears throat> well, regardless, I'm gonna check it out. Apparently there's something to do with the scribe here.
Uh, structure. Where are we Found going? something here, Captain. Radio signals across a broad spectrum. It's a scribe beacon. Apparently, the people on this planet were destroyed because of something called the Act of Youthful Aggression. Found some remains here. Dry climate, so they're partly mummified. They're all clustered around a big computer screen. <clears throat> were they praying? Is this some kind of religious thing? Nothing on the computer now, though. Totally wiped clean by whatever weapon did this. An EM pulse, I guess. I don't see any wounds on these people. I wonder how they died. I also wonder why the Trandals were so keen on us seeing this. It's awful, but not like uniquely awful. We knew the scribe sucked. Well, whatever. I'm gonna drive the lander over this scribe beacon a few times and see if any useful parts fall off. Received atmospheric stabilizers? Huh. Again, again. Um, this is sort of consistent with the conclusions I reached about the Trandals. I mean, the the biological life forms here were just being, uh, they were just being used by the machines. <sighs> Youthful aggression, I wonder what that's about. But, uh, yeah. Nothing on the computer. That's, uh, like, so, yeah, impulse, you say, like, was the EMP from, uh, was it from the Scribe? Or did the Trandals commit suicide for some reason? Like, or what, what, what's up with that? Because the computer is the Trandals, that's, that's them, that's the, um... I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, regardless, I'm, I'm gonna go back and visit the Trandals like he suggested. So it's like, is it even worth looking around for that one? Because, it, like, I can, whoa, I can spend time trying to track down the one last critter. You know, probably give me like a hundred RU, or um, move on to the next planet and uh, get a, a hundred RU from in an instant from some other source, which is less time-consuming to look for. Yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm still curious about how much the theropods are worth. 120. Yeah. It's 
Yeah, so once they sell these guys, they get a good collection of. Uh, yeah, this is this this should provide a you know big honking amount of resources. That's cool. Wait, I'm in. I just noticed I'm in Epsilon Lavarin. Lower mind ability is increasing accessing root passwords. That doesn't sound good. Like, do I have a time limit on this? Should I have. Like, should I have returned to Earth sooner to see if there's a. something that could be done to prevent the Overmind from taking over? Am I heading for a, a non standard game over? Maybe I should switch to a different save game. Uh, anyway, just gonna grab all the stuff over here. Just, just trying to dodge around all the fireballs flying around. Whoa! The death-defying escapes. These are just base metals, it's hardly worth... Hardly worth risking death over. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> ah, so cargo bay is two-thirds full. There's another exclamation mark in the upper left there. I'm gonna visit Lavor and Rex first. What do we got? Radioactives. Lots and lots of radioactives. Very nice. Toxicity deadly. Oh wow. Maxed out toxicity. Which I am fortunately protected from. Though so it would not surprise me in the slightest if there's still hazards that can harm me here. Uh, inability to bloody see where I'm going is a bit of a nuisance. Just gotta keep an eye on my crew. Make sure people aren't getting killed. They seem to be okay so far. Toxic shielding is uh, holding up. That's good. again be in a position where I don't have to do any any mining uh, for a while okay mm, you say game okay, I think um, worried about overmind. I am a little worried about that overmind message that keeps popping up. <clears throat> More radioactives, unidentified structure, let's see what we got. What have we here? 
I think we found another precursor ruin here, sir. This is just an empty room. Oh, hang on. The wall has a picture on it. No, the wall has two pictures on it. Three, four. Let's say the wall has a lot of pictures on it. All of them shifting and shimmering. I've got a feeling that that's not actually a wall. It's more like some kind of fold in space-time. A naked singularity the precursors have turned into a whiteboard. Those damn precursors. Anyways, we'll see if there's anything else here we can make use of. Heat shield mark three. Interesting. What is that noise I'm hearing? Is something shooting at me while I'm here? Apparently the answer was yes. Fortunately, it looks like the shots were blocked by the ruins themselves. That was fortunate. If it, if I hadn't had the ruins between me, then would would they have destroyed my lander while I was wait, waiting for Carrie to finish yammering? guys are the really valuable ones. 400 each. 400 each. That's, that's, that's more than the than antimatter, which is 250 each. Well, I mean, you also have to weigh that against the fact that you can only collect one of these at a time. Uh, one more unidentified entity left. Check out that heat shield mark three, see what that's about. But first, yeah, seriously, absolutely. I swear, I swear I told the autopilot to go to Ada Lavoren. Why am I totally in the wrong system? It's <sighs> annoying. Like, this is totally not where I told it to go. It's a little odd. Is there any more? I see one more orbit there. Is there another planet here? I, I see an orbit line, but I don't see a planet associated with it. Is it is it in the uh, south end of the system? Oh, is that it there? Did I visit this one? I, th I think I, I think I did. Yeah, it's just commons, whatever. Let's go to my actual destination now. How about that? Imagine that. <sighs> okay. Looks like there are four plants here. I'll visit this one first for no particular reason. back again. Alright. What do we got here? We got some mostly base metals, which are eh. There are also some rare earths, I, I guess. I'll make, make a stop here. <clears throat> I mean, after this, after I finish with this system, my intention is to um, Okay, travel to the... Whoa, hello. Uh, my intention is to tra visit the Trandals again, see what they have to say about the... about uh, the, the, that moon piece that I visited. 
Um, and then we travel to Alpimense and uh, trade in all these life forms and things that I've collected. Hope I get some, uh, you know, decent amount of. Uh, Resource from that, um, and and also check out what what the uh, Mark III heat shield does. I wonder if it's. Uh, I mean, if it's if it's less than a hundred percent, then it's it's kind of useless to me because I already have ones that give me fifty percent protection, and I have two of them in place. I'm at a point where uh, uh, I have enough resources where it's not a question of the cost; it's a question of how much space I have. In the landers for the upgrades. <clears throat> Got all the resources, just uh, taking a look around for critters. I don't want to spend too long looking for the critters, particularly because of those sparky, sparky fields, which are damage me plus the things like this this uneven terrain which makes my well, my lander go all loopy guys and I'm at, at the point where uh, that extra bit of resource our use that I get out of it isn't isn't hugely significant. Okay yeah that's enough. I've I've had enough of <laughs> wobbling around this this terrain. Uh, how many of those guys have I got now? I've probably got 10 of them. Worth 100 RU each. It's 1000 RU. Attention Husk's Overmind is here. <laughs> Attention Husk's. Earths, base metals. Let's find out what the Lexites were interested in here. Oh, hello. Alright. Captain, we found a structure similar to the other Lexite bases we've encountered. There seems to be a lot of mining equipment here. The Lexites must have used this place to gather resources. Good news is, there's lots of valuable resources and tools left over that we can salvage. These are schematics. There's a computer here too. Hmm. Looks like Ooh. it was used for inventory management. Looks like the Lexites were preparing for a journey across a wide gulf with no stars. That can't huh. be right. There's no big gulf like that anywhere near here. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe there are no safe stars? Or stars with resources? Yeah, that's it. On whatever path the Lexites are planning to travel, they think someone else has stripped every planet of resources. A path in the exact opposite direction as W-51. I'm not sure if we're going to find many more clues after this, Captain. Looks like the Lexites <coughs> have departed far, far from this place. Still don't know where they were going. But it's looking more and more like they had a good reason. Something from W-51 is coming, Captain. And coming soon. W-51? Is that the name of a star? <laughs> Prepare.
preparing for a journey across a white gulf with no stars. Maybe there are no safe stars out of the resources. <clears throat> I mean, were they thinking of leaving the galaxy altogether? That would be a white gulf with no stars. <clears throat> Other than that, I don't know. Um, like, is there something more dangerous than the scribe, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. W51, I have to look that up. Find out what that's about. Um, oop. Like, look it up on this. Look it up on the sector map first. clouds because sometimes they hurt me <laughs> Is potato came to mind. Um, I was watching um, uh, uh, Stephen Colbert uh, reporting about the the, uh, the invasion of Ukraine, and uh, you know, it, it, as as horrific as the war is, it, it's it is uh, nice to sometimes be able to. Uh, like disengage from that and uh, find some humor in it, and you just he just uh, in Stephen Colbert just has this, this land strike. I thought mm, I thought it was keeping my distance. You know, mm, that's obnoxious. That's really obnoxious. Is that black? Oh, can I collect the stuff that I left behind? Okay. Alright, so I was able to- I, I am able to pick up the stuff that the lander left behind. Was that- is that the entirety of the stuff they left behind? Well, anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, um, okay, just, uh, uh, Stephen Colbert is, is just, uh, he's making fun of the, the Russian, uh, army's, like, basically, like, utter failure to capture anything of significance in the Ukrainian war, or the, in the Ukrainian invasion. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere along the lines, uh, Colbert's got this this running gag where uh, uh, where he just uses the phrase "it's potato," <laughs> you know, in, you know, with a Russian accent. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, why do, why does critters show up twice? on the resources remaining screen there. Is it separating out the uh, the ones that are stunned from the ones that are not stunned for perhaps? Mm -hmm. Or or maybe it's separating out the bashers from the theropods? But, mm, I'm pretty sure in other plants those have all shown up in the same the same, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Let's shoot this guy and see if it takes, uh... It deducts the number of critters from the other field. Now it says no resources detected. What? I'm so confused. 
It said it listed rare earths as well. Okay, I don't know. It's, it was just odd. Whatever. 2400, are you? Or, or space filled up? Two more plants here. And then I'll head out. All things being equal, I, I figure if I'm going to clear out any plants, I might as well get the ones that are where I happen to be at the moment. <clears throat> I'm going to bother that, they're just commons. Rare earths, that's more like it. And abundant biology, so there's some uh, little life forms to shoot. And on the way in, I just saw one of the theropods over here. Ha. <laughs> the way he flinches each time I, I shoot him kind of makes me feel a little bad. But, I don't know, he'll be happier in the zoo, right? You'll be safe and have plenty of food to eat. Theoretically, hopefully. I don't know. I know this is one of it's one of those things where it's like uh, grass is greener on the other side, you know. Like you think of uh, you know either pets or animals kept in captivity in, in zoos or preserves or whatever. Um, and uh, you kind of wonder about that, about, uh, well, would they be happier out of captivity and, you know, having their, their own their freedom or whatever? And I, 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 I think it's, it's, it's kind of like a grass is green on the other side kind of effect there, because, like, like, on the, like, because, yeah, you know, they, they they might be happier being free, and um, on the other hand, the ones that are out free might be happier being somewhere safe where they can relax and expect food. You know, so like, which which one is actually better? It's just a it's a philosoph philosophical question. Frozen uh, and then thawed mice, um, and um, there's uh, you know some people who will argue, oh, you should you should feed them live mice so uh, you know they they can enjoy the thrill of the hunt and so on, and and it's like, and the the common counter argument to that is that well, you know. Out in the wild, like, mice have teeth and claws, they scratch and bite, they might, they, they have potential to injure it and, or even kill your pet, and it's like, you know, if you're, if you're keeping them as a pet, like, you want them to have a long, healthy life, you know, um, and the, um, like, it's it's better for the pet to have the the uh, the mice pre-killed, and it's also more humane to the mice. Like um, you can have them, uh, you know, 
have the mice like die humanely and painlessly in their sleep versus having them you know endure the terror of uh, being you know choked to death and then eaten by uh, this animal that's bigger than them I don't know this is, I, I don't know I'm just <laughs> Right now, at this point, I'm just talking to Phil in time while I look at the life forms. This is enough. I'm spending far too much time looking at these guys. What am I doing? Um. Okay. Basically, I can go to any of the Trandal worlds, because um, I finally did the, the, both the Lavoran quests. Uh, Trandal is in the core. Is this specifically the Corpus Constellation? Hmm. Oh, here you go. Remove the Overmind Infection from your ship. So that that's not that's one of my objectives now. Oh yeah, was this note by the Mukai homeworld that we rescued the research in Delta Horus? Oh, uh, I guess I'm supposed to um, visit the Mukai homeworld at some point. Oops. Um, I can do that while I'm on my way to Alpha Tria B, since that's in the same neighborhood. That can be something for, uh, for next session. Look at, all these, look at all these completed mission objectives. This is... Slightly, slightly satisfying in itself. <clears throat> I feel like I'm making some progress. That's kind of cool. Anyway. You said Corpus. Oh, I have to. I have to. I have to go up here. Like, okay. Like why Corpus and not one of the it's a uh, it it's pop a model like I went before. Actually before before I do that, hold on. Where where might be Maybe worth taking just a quick pit stop over here and Oh yeah, I never found that vault Hello, that... welcome back. Never found that the vault that uh, Urim uh, alluded to. Uh, yeah, so... What about this heat shield mark 3? 100%! How about that? So I can just take this off and leave it empty, or I can, you know, put something else in there. What's this? Atmospheric stabilizers? Improves your land as atmospheric stability, providing resistance to harsh winds when attempting to land on a plant. Atmospheric maneuvering plus 35%. That's irrelevant with the, um, the landing computer that I have. But at some point, I might want to replace the landing computer with some other more useful module, in which case this will become useful again. Shall I get the Enhanced Collector? Yeah, why the heck not? Collection... That's... Such a useless thing, but it's like... Eh, might as well, I guess. Do you get anything new? Uh, this is a neat weapon. Still can't get sensors, right? Nothing new here. Nothing new. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I should be able to sell a ton of stuff here. 
where's where's the one that I had logged? There, that's 73 of them now. Um, well, it doesn't matter what radioactive I have. Let's just sell the Neptunium down to 25, and then lock that, and then unlock this, just just to save time. Cool. Okay, so I go from 27,000 <laughs> 55,000. Very nice. And just build me up and get a land of 375. It's neat instead of 500 as it was before. Oh, I have I have atmospheric stabilizers. Right, that's right. I did. I found some like randomly. Right, so I don't have to buy some. I already have it. If I decide to put it in at some point, I can do that. Cool. Um. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what else? Look at gonna get. Look at all this stuff. Wait, what? Norseth and Noras Diamond? What's a Noras Diamond? I do not know. Why don't I get one and find out? 3000? Why not? Gatling laser and dual rapid laser. Huh. Let's try that one out. But how many? Takes up 18 slots. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Is all right. there anything else? Uh, no, thank you. Exception. Civil farewell not found. Hmm. Is it worth looking around all the other Lavoran thingies to see if I can find that vault? That might be something for another time. I think I want to. I think I want to focus on the Trandall thingy and the Overmind thingy and see what they have to say about that. <clears throat> so yeah, the current plan is just uh, drop by Delta Corpus, I guess. <clears throat> It says specifically to go to one of the Corpus constellations, so I guess I'll do that. I don't know if that's actually required. Man, I have 130 crew. I bust 37 crew just from from lander missions, really, because I, I didn't I didn't lose any um, the one time I took the Vindicator into battle. <clears throat> Overmind, 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 overmind. Okay. Is that gonna... What effect is that gonna have? Who knows? What have we here? It's another station. Like the one from uh, Alpha Mense. Right? Mail your trading ship? Yeah. Greetings, Captain. <clears throat> Welcome to this mail your trading outpost. We look forward to a long, but probably not too long, relationship with you. <laughs> okay, let's do some shopping. That's convenient. Because, yeah. Look at all the stuff I can sell. I'm just gonna the critter meat and the... Yeah, security drones. 16 and about 400 each. Okay, cool. So I go from 51,000 RU. Team of Locks Trapper? Oh, yeah. Because I, presumably because I just sold some live specimens. 
so just from the life forms, I got an extra 15,000 RU. That's awesome. And just fill me up just because. Do I get any new construction options here? Glorious tank of fuel. <clears throat> oh, I can get another. Oh, right, okay. So I can get another land of crew pod. Um, be a shame to get to replace the enhanced collector right after I. Uh, I'm going to replace one of the anti gravity thrusters with a, a, an additional land of crew pod, I think. Maybe I should get lander armor. Oh yeah. Hmm. No, no. Let's get get the crew pod. Because instances where my lander gets damaged have been fewer and far between so far. At some point, I probably will want the uh, uh, physical protection, and I think I'm gonna wait until I get the up either some upgraded protection that's better than 25% protection. Or um, I get further enhanced corrosion protection. You know, one or the other. Any other new things here? Uh, Deflector Mark II. Accelerator, oh, Accelerator Mark II with 30% battle speed fleet wide. That's kind of neat. 18,000 RU. Huh. Hmm. Got four of these docking bays. Um, <clears throat> I'm having so many opportunities to unload RU or unload my cargo that I don't think I need two cargo bays. I think I think I might just might want to grab one of these fleet accelerators. But before I do that, let me just. Taking a look at these other options and other things here. Still no sensors option. Yeah, okay. Cuddle. Oh, not so cuddle drive? An even faster version of the hyperdrive, which we somehow understand even less? Hyperspeed speed 65% maximum possible. Okay. Sure. Achievement Unlocked Cuddler? Okay. I'm kind of wondering if I should put the... <laughs> I have the currently I have the Enhanced Nuke as my primary weapon, but I should make the Captain Blades the primary weapon. <laughs> I think nothing makes a difference which one is which, but uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? What if I make the secondary the shield and the primary the gatling laser? I think that makes sense. You know, the shield's there for contingencies to protect myself <clears throat> if I, uh, something goes wrong. Because the Gatling laser makes a fine primary weapon. Yeah, and um, as for the stuff down here, I'm thinking, um, Fleet Seller? Sure, why not? Plus 30% speed for everyone? Seems like a pretty nice upgrade. And then, uh... Deflector Mark II. 
We've got the resources, so what the heck. Do I have the fleet accelerator somewhere? It's your own 7500. Yeah, let's... There we go. <laughs> I just gave myself an extra 10% protection. Uh, Structure Commission AI Fleet Coordinator. These together provide 30% protection, and uh, the uh, mysterious upgrades give an additional 20%. So I'm, I'm like 50% uh, protected. Cool. Um, so yeah, so you, I took a bit of a bite out of the resource units I gathered. But I think it got some significant upgrades, so that's cool. That's, that's all well and good. Anyway, this wasn't actually what I came here for. This is, uh... I came here to look for trandles and stuff, but while I'm here... <clears throat> Might as well do some more mining. <laughs> Replace some of the resources which I just spent crazy amounts of. Not even gonna bother with those uh, commons. Probably shouldn't even bother. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with those uh, those corrosives over there. Got the radioactives. Those are the valuable ones. Let's take a look what's on these planets. Maybe some more random encounters. Identified structure. There's copper, which is like who cares? But identified structure. Maybe there will be something of interest there. Found another of those weird automated supply depots, Captain. The robots here look kind of peaceful, all sleeping like that. I sure hope they don't wake up and start murdering us. I'll just poke one repeatedly with this stick to make sure that doesn't happen. Huh? 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 Nope. Nothing. No murder in these robots' hearts at all. Good to know. We'll just take their resources then. Uh, received heavy dumb fire missile? Huh. I mean, I might try it out, but, uh... <laughs> I, uh, seriously doubt the the Dumbfire missile is going to be any better than the Gatling laser. The Gatling laser turned out to be pretty epic. I mean, it's got a long range. It's not very power intensive for how much damage it does. So, it's pretty cool. I can I can just spam the area with uh, with fire. It's a Yitchik world. Itchium and a Terbium. Okay, my jump jets are. Hmm, they're not acting consistently. Weird. Okay.
know what? That's enough. The rest are just base metals. <sighs> this isn't what I came here for. Identified object. There's some radioactives. The more the more time I spend doing this mining and stuff, the more time the overmind has to do whatever it's doing. For better or worse. Oh, it's another one of these. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. the system because the star is physically larger so I figured it would be hotter which would mean you know do the whole risk reward concept maybe uh, maybe that means they'll get better resources for the try okay I actually do have some some uh, better range in uh, my ability to grab the resources yeah, look at that. <clears throat> yeah, just, that's enough. They they visit this planet. What's with this music? It's common, not worth worth anything. <laughs> Technically not worthless, but pretty close to it. And you've got, yeah, you know, precious metals, radioactives, noble gases. It's worth a trip. All husks will be overmined. Oh, yeah.
still going to visit the planets just because. Common, who cares? Channels, there we go. Coercer. Alright, let's see what they have to say. Hello, again. You have been to the moon. You see now. <clears throat> the scribe destroyed those people. Those pitiful husks. Those husks were dear to me. I me? Mean, what happened to the plural tense? Yeah. Me, singular. <clears throat> It was nothing. I am an individual trandal. We are all individual trandals, and I am one of them. Your upgrades are wrecking our ship, are they? Improving your ship. <laughs> they are improving your ship. You will see. You will be part of Overmind soon. Prepare yourself for better thoughts and endless misery. Endless misery? <laughs> How can they say that it's an improvement in the same breath as saying it'll bring endless misery? What are you? Good question. I am Overmind. I am not the Trandals. They are husks. Carriers for me. You will be husks soon. It's not so bad. You desire safety from the Scribe. I am safe. You will be me. Then you will be safe. Just relax and let me do the thinking for you. Okay, well, there's some logical inconsistencies in your statements here, buddy. Um, like, you're saying it's not so bad, and you also said that it'll be, uh, to, hey, we should prepare ourselves for endless misery. Um, you, you're saying that you can give us safety from the scribe. Well, what about those people over on Peast? They didn't, they weren't safe from the scribe, apparently. They got EMP to death. <clears throat> Going to have to think about that us or I'm thinking last chance to inspire us up will blow up you and every one of your husks. Okay, let's start with let's start with the non-violent option. Sure. Enjoy it while it lasts. We had some questions, Overmind. Okay. Overmind is great and very admirable. Okay, let's start with what exactly are you? Overmind. A unified consciousness and decision-making apparatus suited for spreading misery and overmind. You spread misery? Yeah, that's like... Also, overmind. <laughs> Husks always get hung up on the misery. But misery is of secondary importance. Spreading overmind is more. And who made you? All references to Overmind's creators are protected. Okay, hold on. There was another Over option there. Overmind unified consciousness oh, and okay. all references to Overmind's creators are protected. How did the Trandals become first become Overmind? Overmind's makers created many vectors for spreading the Overmind. One of these, an automated probe, collided with the Trandall homeworld 233 years ago. The Trandalls were in an ideal state for overmind envelopment at this point. Post-industrial technology, highly capitalistic, 
mildly gullible. It took less than a year. Hmm. <clears throat> and how many other species have been made over mind? No. But I am trying so hard. Hmm. Soon the mink mac, maulings, and famished will be over mind. Oh, neat. Get some more information about them and tell us about the mech mac. Huge mouths. Lots of talking. Too much talking. Overmind will shut them up. Yeesh, okay. Mowlings? They have a god which has slowed down Overmind development. Huh. But someday soon. Okay. What about the famished? They are potentially not compatible with Overmind. But they have unique <laughs> vulnerability which increases our chances. They are cannibals. They talk to husks as they eat them. Yeesh. I have sent many of my own husks to their deaths at the hands of the famished to listen in on their conversation. Well, like I said, they're called the famished for a reason. They're, they're always hungry. I, uh... I mean, who didn't see that pun coming? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's You nothing. still want to talk? <sighs> I mean, okay. Let's let's see where the violent options lead, I guess. I mean, I saved it first, right? Didn't I? Improving your... You will see. Prepare yourself for better thoughts and endless misery. Improving you will see. Prepare yourself for better. Okay, Overmind is great and very admirable. Oh, do I, do I no longer have the option to go with the violent option? You still want to talk? Okay, dock at many space stations when you do. Hello again. Improving you will prepare yourself for better thoughts and endless misery. That's it? Okay, dock at many space stations. Do I no, long I no longer have the option to tell them uh, we're gonna remove them forcefully or whatever? Remove the overmind infection from your ship. That ob the objective is still there. Like, did I screw up by not selecting the option to, uh... I'm a bit confused. Uh, I don't know. Um... Seriously, did, did I did I just like permanently erase my option to uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um Seriously, should I should I reload and this time go with the violent option? Channel influencer. My only options are hail and disengage. I don't have the fire Hello oil option. Again. Imp you will prepare yourself for better thoughts and endless mis okay. Dock at many space. Like, is there another? 
is there another avenue? I mean, I, I wouldn't have expected them to just say, oh, okay, we'll remove the upgrades anyway. Uh, and frankly, I wouldn't expect fighting them to have any benefit in that regard either. You know? So, like, I have a feeling there's going to be some other uh, means of removing the Overmind uh, influence. exact angle the position of where where to sit at what point at, like at which specific point on the incline to be sitting in order to have the right angle it's just obnoxious because oftentimes there isn't a, a suitable angle Or so it seems. Save over a new slot. Keep you know, keep a safe game before before I seemingly lost the uh, the pilot op dialogue option. Even though I, I have a feeling it doesn't make a difference. And then I might just try visiting uh, Seoul. It's one of those things like like I don't know if uh, visiting Seoul is gonna make things worse like if, if it's gonna make the overmind take over take over the earth star base and maybe earth itself that could be bad um, or if star control is gonna have a solution for me <clears throat> or maybe I need to find the solution by visiting other races like um, I don't know I don't know I don't know he mentioned that the um, what was it? Was it the Malings or, or the, uh, was it the the Malings or the the, uh, the famished? He said that were uh, might be incompatible or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, um, what do I call this? Should I be more violent? <laughs> Question mark. Just common. 
sense, whatever. <sighs> okay. Well. Oh yeah, didn't he say? Shoot, what was it? What did the uh, Urim say was in the Lynx uh, constellation? Maybe it'll be over here. Trans are a little more than tusks controlled by an artificial intelligence known as Overmind, who is who has dubious Overmind spreading related goals. Okay. As trans in the Corpus constellation. Uh, okay. Evidently, a vault locates somewhere in the Lavoran cluster. There may be a horrific space monster, the worst kind, living somewhere in the Lynx cluster. Buried within the irritating Overmind air messages we've been seeing was a reference to Alpha Naviculum? Uh, we should maybe investigate that. Oh yeah, was there a... Uh, shoot, there, there was a reference to... Um, was it W51? What, do, what, what does W51 mean? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, in any case, I think... I think it's about time that I... Uh, head back to Star Control. Think of it. Wasn't there? Wasn't there a message saying that the? Uh, yeah, wasn't wasn't there something saying that I was supposed to go to the the McKay homeworld or something? You know, something else besides the rescuing the researchers. Um, shoot, where was it? What was it? Look at all these things. Um, shoot, okay. Um, well, I have to visit. Obviously, I have to visit the. Um, I have to visit the McKay regardless. Um, probably do that. Objective fly to our homeworld and connect to all computers there? We fly to our homeworld? Home our homeworld in this context. Is it like the, o the Overmind homeworld, or... Is it talking about soul? Hello, welcome back. Let's use the hypergate, head back. Should there's our starbase? Yes. So, um, yeah, this might be a terrible mistake, but should I be more? Let's just let's just see what happens. <clears throat> see, see, maybe Sky will have something to say about it. Maybe she'll have a solution, or at least be able to point us in the direction of a solution, or point us in the direction of someone who can point us in the direction of a solution, something like that. <clears throat> I'm still not ruling out the possibility of reloading the game before I talk to the Trandals and this time just try fighting them to see if it gets a better result.
Captain, what's wrong with your ship? Our diagnostics are showing it's infected with some kind of virus. It's already trying to take command of Star Control's CNC systems. <laughs> some space tricks messed up our ship. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, you'd better get that looked at soon. It's completely alien to any virus we've seen before. I don't think we'll be able to help. Oh, darn. Now then, how can I help you? You got a hyperdriver. Oh, okay. Oh. So, okay, so, hmm. Does that mean I should have bought multiples of those? Great. We've been learning from the Taiwan that hyperdrive fuel delivery systems are also pretty specialized. We can fabricate one ourselves, but we're going to need 10 units of francium to do it. <sighs> francium. And, and, uh, again, it's just it's another one of those, those things like... You know, on a second playthrough, then I'll know, okay, I'll keep francium, but I've been like... I found like bazillions of kilotons of francium all over the place, and I've been selling it every time because I didn't know that I needed that specific element. But whatever. Sorry, Captain. I don't think it will. That's little more than a spare emergency hyperdrive. It certainly isn't powerful enough to drive a colony ship. You'll have to find something with a little more oomph. And the Taiwan have sealed it somehow. I don't think we'll be able to reverse engineer it either. Keep looking, though. Okay. Maybe you will, yeah. Anything else, Captain? <sighs> okay, let's have some... About what? Hmm, what we should do next? What do you think of these aliens? Is there any alien in particular you're concerned right. about? someone else. Which ones? Okay, someone else. Which ones? I think I already asked about the Drenkin, but... They sound like heartless automatons, Captain. Willing to follow any order, no matter how mindlessly cruel it is. I wouldn't feel too guilty when you blow them up. Mm, they won't. Didn't think you would, Captain. Which ones? Trandles. They're bizarre. To spend so much time looking at a screen just seems unnatural. Hey. <laughs> think they're dangerous, kind of. You think they're dangerous? They very well might be. Anyone else? Which ones? Something other than aliens. Okay. Sure. I guess that, what do you want to know? That's all I can ask her about. Anything else, Captain? <sighs> okay, so I've got Neptunium and Technetium. I have Francium. This is 30 units required for quests, and I have 29. Well, let's just lock that down then, I guess. And got the Neptunian in there. Okay, so the there's this. So, um, yeah, Skyla said that, um, she said that they, they were. The, the virus is trying to take over star control, which feels like it should be a little more alarming than uh, when she let on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, if, I, if I swap this out and put the Cuddle drive back in. Can I give her the not so cuddle drive? I, I should probably fly back out there and buy two more of these. Oh, three more, really. 
if, if that's what my goal is. Three more so I can keep one for myself and uh Yeah, anyway. You know what? Whatever. Let's swap this out. Let's let's talk to her and see if uh because I because I've got some Francium plus anything else, Captain? Not so cuddle drive. Great! Do you also have 10 units of Francium? Because we're not going to get far without that. So, will this do? Now this is something. There you go. Very impressive, Captain. But I don't think it's quite powerful enough either. Our planned colony ships are going to require something a bit bigger than this. But I think we can reverse engineer this. At least enough to make smaller hyperdrives. The next time you visit the shipyard, don't be surprised if some defense cruisers are ready to come join your fleet. Oh, neat. Just keep looking for those bigger hyperdrives. Okay. Maybe you will, yeah. Anything else, Captain? I mean, the cuddle drive is already big enough to move my flagship plus my whole fleet. And the not so cuddle drive is even bigger than that, and that's still not big enough for your purposes? Like, how the heck big is this colony ship you're building? But whatever. If, I mean, if it's not suitable for you, it's not suitable for you, I'll just put the not so cuddle drive back in my ship. So, never mind my suggested mission to go buy three more of those things. I'm glad I didn't. Okay, well, 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 well. Anything else, Captain? I think that's it. Good luck, Captain. Eh, I, I mean, I guess. I guess I'll continue this. I mean, I, I could try reloading to see what happens if I if I try the more violent option. Um, maybe it's just as well that I, I just end this session, though. Save the game. Um, again, I'm just... I'm playing with the hope that the, the dev team isn't going to put me in a situation where I can't accidentally make, it, make the game unwinnable, you know? Hopefully there's some other solution, you know? Some other means of um, getting rid of the overmind infection or whatever. Like maybe I need to find the, some other races who are able to do it and deal with it in some way. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I mean, with that in mind, I should probably... Just head, head back out the same way I was, was meet, meet up with the Mowlings and all the all of others. Um, I don't know. I, I might I might just reload the game and try try selecting the violent option. It just I mean again I don't want to I don't want to turn this into that the saves coming kind of kind of thing, but uh, just in the off chance I learn something, I might just give that a try. We'll see. I'll consider it. Until next time.